Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to show you the 2021 Winnebago View. Now this is the 24D floor plan, which is gonna have your Murphy bed in it. We've also got the 24J, which is your corner bed, and the 24V, which is your twin beds. So before I even get into this, Coach, I want you to take a look at this exterior and look how beautiful the lines are. Uh, no, hardly any cutouts, it's just sleek, beautiful, full body paint. I'm just super impressed with this, Coach, and I can't wait to tell you more about it. So this is one of Winnebago's best selling coaches and I can tell you why. It's gonna drive like a luxury car on the Mercedes chassis and it's gonna live like a class A diesel. They've incorporated all the things they've learned in the last 62 years of building motorhomes into this view and let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you happen to be watching my videos for the first time, I just want to give you a little hint. If there's something specifically that you want to go and see, just click the little arrow by the title and it will give you a full time-stamped index of each section um, as I go and do my walk around. This is the Bay Mist exterior, which is full body paint. You also have mineral as an option, which is another full body paint option. And then you can go with a non full body paint option in the uh, exterior stellar. Now, before we leave the exterior here, I want you to look down the side of this beautiful coach and what do you see that you haven't ever seen on another Class C motorhome? So take a minute, take it all in. I love the smooth, um, sleek sides, but we've got integrated awnings. That's what makes the one of the things that makes this look so nice and clean as you look down the side of this coach. All right, so the view sits on the Mercedes VS30 chassis. It has a three liter, six cylinder diesel engine. And let me go through and tell you what we see here inside the engine compartment. So first of all, you're gonna notice we've got a big empty space right here. Typically, that's where you're gonna see your chassis battery. And I'll show you where your chassis battery is later. It's um, inside the step when you open the driver's door. So, since it's not here, but if you needed to jump your battery, you can still do it from this compartment. So you've got your ground here, and then your positive is right there. So you can connect right there if you need to. We've got our brake fluid here, our windshield wiper fluid here, our engine air filter, then we have our engine oil. Now this is nice because we can fill our oil here. When you turn on your uh, Mercedes engine, you're gonna get an um, indicator that's gonna tell you the level of your oil. So you really don't have to worry about the dipstick here. You can get a very accurate reading from your dash. Then we've got our coolant and we've got our DEF, which, which is our diesel exhaust fluid. So you fill that here. Now make sure you don't mix them, them up. <laughs> They've got a little diagram to again remind you. But um, DEF, you can go about 5,000 miles on a full tank of DEF. Um, one of those things you wanna think about with DEF, it doesn't like light or heat, and it has a shelf life of about a year. So if you know that you're putting your coach in storage for six months and you're not gonna use it, I wouldn't fill it up um, until you go to leave again so that you've got fresh DEF in there. A nice feature that Mercedes adds to their front cap here is this step up so you can put your foot right up here so you can reach the windshield so you can wash that off um, as you're traveling through the country you're going to get a lot of bugs obviously so when you stop to fuel up you may want to wash off your windshield just step up there right in the center of your front grill is your sensor for your adaptive cruise control then we've got the beautiful led headlights and down here we've got the cornering fog lights so those work when you're going below 20 miles per hour and they'll actually turn with the coach itself so it's going to give you nice um, illuminate that area as you're going into a campground or whatever so that's a nice feature that they've given us we have the alcoa aluminum rims and then we have the internally controlled side view mirrors we have defrost and we also have our turn signal in the corner here 
All right, something I want to point out is we've got the aluminum running board here. So a nice step to get into our coach. This is uh, one of the products that Winnebago makes, and I'm going to point out through, throughout this coach, Winnebago is a RV manufacturer, not an RV assembler. They make 70 to 75% of their parts in the RV. So that's pretty unusual for the RV industry and they are very innovative in that, in that way. So that step is a nice sturdy aluminum step. We've got the D-ring on the front and the back. That means that we can tether um, our furry little friends to that while we're outside enjoying the outdoors or if you've got bikes um, or something that's uh, expensive that you want to tether to that in the campground um, so that it's safe and secure, you can do that there as well. All right, just wanted to point out too that this is bolted to the chassis rail, not just screwed into the fiberglass. So bolted to the chassis rail, nice and strong. You can see that it doesn't even move when I go to step up and put my weight on it. All right, so let's talk about another thing you typically do not see on a Class C. So if you look up here to your over-the-cap bedroom area, you've got a really fun window and there's a little um, RV and some pine, pine trees on that that I'll show you when we get inside, but you can kind of see them from outside. But right next to that, you have a window that opens. You do not see that. So up in that nice little sleeping area, you're actually gonna be able to get a cross breeze because you have a window that opens on both sides. Huge, huge, huge. All right, so I'm just gonna keep pointing out features that you typically don't see on the Class C. Another one, we've got the integrated awnings. We already talked about that, but I also have an app on my phone. So I can be outside, sitting in my lawn chair, enjoying the outdoors. I don't even have to go inside to open, to extend my awning. So I'm just gonna go ahead, go to my Carefree Awning app and hit extend. So now we've got this nice awning out there. And then if you have your master switch on inside the coach, you can turn your awning LED lights on here outside. So you just hit the light switch and they're on, or light switch again, and they're off. And then when, uh, oh, also it has a um, motion detector on here. So if you've got a strong wind, it will fill that and retract into the coach. And then when you're ready to send it back in, you just hit the retract button. Now there's also controls for that inside the coach, but I love the ability to do it off the app. All right, so we've got our patio light here, and then we have the optional dual pane windows, and they will pop out, open up nicely, or you can get the standard, which is just the slide window. These are really nice. If you go ahead and opt for these, again, when you're washing your coach, make sure you use a microfiber cloth so that you don't scratch those. Also do that with your coach too because you want to do anything you can and anything and everything you can to protect the beautiful paint on your coach. Now speaking of again, this beautiful clean lines here, go ahead and look at the baggage compartment here. First of all, you'll see there are no visible hinges. All the way along, you just have that same line, looks so nice. Then we go to open the door and we've got the hinges on both sides, the gas hinges, so they just nicely come up. So one of the bonuses when you buy from Winnebago is they put a model and a part number on everything that they manufacture. So if I damage this storage compartment door, which um, that's what we probably see damaged the most because people will turn a little sharply, hit a rock. Um, anyway, all I have to do is call them with this information on this label and they can send me a door that will work perfectly. So just something that you'll love about Winnebago. You're going to see that on your cushions inside. I'll point it out as we go today. Then we're going to talk about all the things that Winnebago makes right here that they manufacture. So they manufacture this aluminum door. They cover the mechanism. We have the E-coated storage compartment. We have the rubber gasket that goes around the storage compartment to make that a nice tight seal. And we have nice big strong L brackets here on both sides of our door. Uh, we've got the little slider here, port, so that if we want to plug something in this compartment and then keep the door shut, we can do that. Because we have two 110 outlets up here, we have our TV um, external 
connection here. Then tucked away in this compartment up here is your inverter. In this compartment, there is a about this much space, so I'd say three inches, of a pass-through at the very top of this compartment. It's not very big, but if you had a flagpole, if you had some um, oars or paddles, you could put those across that little pass-through area. Then we have our engine exhaust, and we've got our exhaust for our Truma water heater and furnace. And then right below here, we've got our quick connect um, that we can connect to our gas tank. So if you want to hook up an external grill, you can do that and be underneath your awning, cooking your hamburgers, hanging out with your friends, all right here. We have the Truma AquaGo water heater system. So this is really nice. Basically, you just have to turn it on outside and then you can control it on and off from inside of the coach. Also, um, if you need to winterize your coach, something that you don't need to worry about, if you store your coach with us at National Indoor RV Centers, uh, where we store over 300 coaches at all of our locations, inside, always plugged into 30 amp or 50 amp service, so you never have to worry about winterizing. If you do need to winterize, we can do that for you as well, but they make it really easy on this Truma AquaGo system. So all you have to, there are actually instructions in here, but you can drain the system really easily. You've got a filter here. We don't have anything, and there's instructions, but that's one of the benefits to this system. Also, if you're the wiring type or the engineer <laughs> that wants to know how this whole system is uh, laid out, that's for you right here. Me, not so much. I'm just gonna take it to National Indoor RV Centers if I have a question. What's nice about the Truma system is it has a stabilizer, so it maintains a constant heat, kind of intuitively like your water heater at home. All right, then we have our LP generator, 3600 watt quiet generator. And I love the way all these compartments snap shut. They, it's just a, you know, you shut them, they click, it feels nice and tight and secure. And then we've got another baggage compartment here. Now this one is a plastic, so, you know, this might be where I put some of my, you know, if I store my oil or in dirty tools or whatever, because I can wipe this compartment out really easily if I wanted to. We've got our marker light. Uh, I really like this star storage compartment because it's at um, eye level for me. So everything's like right in front of me. Very handy to get to everything, whatever I'd want to put in the storage compartment. So look how nice and big this compartment it is. It's bigger than the actual opening. Probably about three or four inches tall th taller than the opening. And then it goes back. It's recessed. So it really goes to the back of your um, end cap. All right, so as we come around the back of the coach, look how beautiful, again, that sleek look that I talked about on the side continues to the back of the coach. Winnebago design, look at their um, brake lights here. I love the way they designed those. We've also got the t um, higher brake lights. In case we're towing something, you're still gonna be able to see those brake lights. Let's go to the very top. We got our mark marker lights across the top. Then we have our rear view camera. We also have a nice window. I like this because that means you're gonna have a window in the back of your coach. Just bringing that outside in again, I always like that. More brake lights here at the bottom. Then we've got a 5,000 pound hitch. So that means if you wanna tow a Jeep um, Wrangler, you're not gonna have a problem doing that. You, you've also got your seven way connection here. And we've got our exhaust for our generator that's coming out the back of the coach. So again, you can be enjoying um, sitting out underneath the awning, running your generator if you need to, and that exhaust is gonna be coming out the rear of your coach, not the side of your coach. And then one of probably my favorite features is they give you a ladder for access to the top of your roof. And anytime you've got this ladder going into your end cap, you've got a steel um, backing to that ladder. So this doesn't move at all permanently installed and super strong. I really love that about Winnebago. You're not gonna have to, you're not gonna worry about getting up on your roof if you need to whatsoever. 
and because I know what the next question is, what um, is the weight limit for the ladder? It's 225 pounds. Okay, let's talk about the roof. So again, this is another feature on a Class C that you don't always see on Class C's. It has a full fiberglass roof. Also up there, we have standard two 100 watt solar panels with another uh, connection. So you can, you can throw up more solar panels there if you want. Also, Winnebago's thought ahead for you. So there's a black box up there with a pre-cut uh, access for you. So you can add a satellite system or a WeBoost so that you or a technician do not need to cut a hole in the top of your roof. All right, so on to the driver's side. We've got our marker light here. Now we've got a lot of things to talk about in here. This is sort of our wet bay, or this is our wet bay, plus, plus our uh, 30 amp shore power hookup here. So we can take that, we can thread that through here uh, once you get to a campground and you've even got the little, uh, you can put the cord right through there and then shut that right back up so that you're not gonna have any critters get into your compartment here, which I like that feature a lot. So we're just gonna go ahead and close that up and then you can close this and then you just hinge those shut. So really easy and we have our SureGuard um, transfer switch in there as well. All right, so we've got our wet bay compartment here. We have our external shower with a hot and cold, which is always nice. We have our fresh water, um, fill here, so normal and tank fill, and we hook that up right here with our freshwater inlet. Freshwater tank will hold 25 gallons. Our gray and black tanks will hold 41. Then we have our water pump here. We also have our freshwater drain, and then we have the high, um, hot, and cold point drains if we need to winterize the coach. And we've got our little tube here that we can put into our antifreeze if we have to winterize. Again, something you don't have to worry about if you are a storage customer with National Indoor RV Centers. And then we've got our T-bars for our black waste drain and our gray waste drain. And then we hook up our stinky slinky or sewer hose right here. Now, if you wanna know how I hook up everything when I get to a campground, go and watch my RV 101 series where I go through an entire trip prepping for a trip, my checklist, when I get to a campground, how I hook everything up, and then when I leave. All right, you also have in this compartment the input for your cable, your satellite, and another solar panel uh, port. So if you wanna add a portable solar panel, this is where you can add it. The view will take up to 450 watts total of solar power. You've got 200 on the roof, so you've got 250 more that you could add. So you have a 30 gallon freshwater tank and a 41 uh, gray and a 41 black tank. So that's huge in a class C to have 41 gallons. So how does Winnebago do that? They do that because they make their own holding tanks. So they can put it, they can design it specific, specifically for this floor plan and maximize the size of the tank because they're making it themselves and not buying it from a manufacturer that says it has to be this size. They can do it, customize it to the coach. And we have our black tank flush here. Here we have the overflow valve for our freshwater tank. And then we have a lock compartment here for our gravity fill for our freshwater tank. So if you want to bring port potable, portable, say that 10 times, potable, portable water, you can fill it here or if you ever want to add chemicals to your freshwater tank to clean that, you would do that there as well. And it's locked so that you know no one can get into your freshwater tank. Then we've got another big storage compartment here. Again, Winnebago, since they've been doing this for 62 years, their experience has taught them that we don't want this baggage compartment to go up above the slide because it Normally, when you're in the campground, this slide's gonna be extended. Now, when you're packing it though, you probably want more access into this baggage compartment. So all you have to do is just release this little tether here, and then it's gonna make that much easier to pack in and out of this compartment. But then it's gonna be up to you, the coach owner and user, to remember to tether that again so that you don't run that into your slide. But here we've got a nice big storage compartment and we've got the slide out room controllers in here. But again, this extends beyond and then we have a little, that little bit of area of pass through at the top of that compartment. 
Here's our 12 gallon LP tank and we have the hydraulic jack system here. You notice the big window that we get here on the driver's side, plus we have the slide topper for the slide out room. If you're not familiar with the Mercedes Sprinter chassis, you're probably wondering where you put the fuel in this coach. So it's just inside the driver's side door and you're going to just flip this little door open right here. You have a 24.5 gallon diesel fuel tank. All right, so we have a little picture of a battery. So our chassis battery is right inside this compartment here. That's why we have access to um, the ground and the positive up front in the, under the hood. Then we have our fuse panel for the chassis here. And we've got the power lumbar support on our chair. Just easy to see from this position. Right inside the door, if I just pull this lever here, I release the front hood. All right, a few more things to talk about before we head into the view. First of all, how beautiful is that window? Really sleek, pretty, but you have a nice big window on your door. I love that. And then our door handle. So it's just gonna pull out if you pressure you can open it without putting your thumb there, but it just kind of makes it a really easy opening door. Then you notice the automatic step that came out. Now, once you're in a campground, you don't want that step to go in and out every time you open the door. So you just reach inside here and you turn that step off. So now when I shut the door, it's going to stay out. Okay, talking about doors, check out this door. How beautiful is that? No more flimsy, flamsy screen that's rattling as you go down the road that you have to open every time you go in and out of the, the coach. I love that. I've got a little pocket here. I'm probably gonna use that for trash for if I'm outside, I can throw it in there quick. I love that. Little slot there for, you know, miscellaneous goods. Then we've got the nice grab bar, the automotive latch for when we wanna go outside the coach from inside. And then, Check out this, so our put up your nightshade, it's that easy. Say you wanna keep this, the door open, have some fresh air. How easy is that? Again, super easy, clean lines, looks nice. I love that. And then you've got the nice grab bars as you come in and out of the coach. As you step up into the coach, you're gonna have this nice rubber um, mat here. Now, if you go and check out my factory tour video, I'll show you a machine that actually cuts that rubber mat. Um, so many cool things in my factory tour video. If you can't get out to Winnebago and see the tour firsthand, check out my video, do it anyway, kind of give you a little pre-tour before your own tour. There's so many fascinating things that Winnebago makes. After they've been doing this for 62 years, they've got it figured out and um, you're just going to find it very interesting. Right inside the door, we have our house battery disconnect. We have our step power on and off. We have our coach battery disconnect here on and off. We have our awning. This is where we can do our awnings manually rather than by the app. So taking it out and putting it back in and then our awning light. You must have this on to be able to use the light button on your app um, from outside. So if it's off, that light button is not gonna work on your app. And then we have the stairwell light here to light this area. And right underneath the front step here are your house batteries. All right, so as soon as you walk into the coach, you've got two light switches here. So this one here is gonna illuminate your stairwell and also turn on your patio light outside. And this light is just gonna give you some basic ceiling lights. So as soon as you come into the coach, you can flip those on and you have a light. Then we've got our equalizer system, which is our hydraulic leveling jacks. So I'm gonna go ahead and level now that I'm in the campground, ready to stay for a couple days. Um, what I love about this is that you've got the panel that you can use right here when you walk in the door, or you can do it from the app. So I downloaded the app, just connected it, super easy to do, very, uh, walks you through basic instructions. So I'm gonna go ahead and power it on. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and say auto level. All right, so you can hear the warning alarms letting us know that the system's working and that it's operating. So we'll just keep watching this and I'll let you know when we're all level. So now that all four corners have red solid lights in them, we know that we're level. We can go ahead and power off the system and we're good to go. So isn't the inside of the view gorgeous? This is the harmonious interior package with the Colombian walnut cabinets. You can also go with the Harmony interior and get the Colombian walnut cabinets and a high gloss white finish cabinet. So some of these cabinet fronts would be a high gloss white finish versus the Colombian walnut. So a couple of options there, but I just think it's gorgeous because it's neutral, but very um, luxurious feeling. I can add any color I want to kind of make it my own. And that's really what I want in an RV. I like that you walk in and it doesn't date itself. Um, so you can you can make whatever changes you want and you walk in you can't tell what year this was made other than it just feels like it's high high tone here let's talk a little bit more about the cabinets we have the technoform cabinet fronts here and they're just beautiful you can see that they're wrapped all the way around they're water resistant they're gonna last high quality and I just want to show you some of the storage that you get in this compartment and these compartments over the dinette. Now one of the things I also want to tell you that anytime a cabinet is adhered to a wall there's a steel plate behind it. So it's not just screwed into fiberglass, it's not just the screws holding this together, it's actually a steel plate. And then to help support this unit too we have the interlocking joints. So again a lot of times those walls are um, pulled together just like with a butt joint. Um, we have interlocking jo joints so we have a very strong frame on this coach. All right, we, you can see that we have a big um, curtain here. This is going to be the curtain. So you have a privacy curtain from the bed, master bedroom to the rest of the coach. And I'll show you how that works in a little bit. So the view comes with the over the cab bed. I love this. You've got extra sleep, sleeping area. It's nice and comfortable. We've got a ladder that we've got storage. We can just, it stores right in this spot here. So it's nice and convenient. You don't have to go dig it out after underneath the bed or something in the back or in the closet. So you just pull it out from its storage spot, put it in here, and the ladder will support 225 pounds. Your bed's gonna support at least 450 pounds, probably more, but you're safe at that number. And then I have lots of people that wanna know the distance here. So the distance here to the mattress is about 23 inches and then if we were to take that mattress out like the mattress is about four inches thick just so you know what space and then it does kind of go down as you get closer to the front of that end cap um, now inside here a few things i want to point out remember i told you about the cute little winnebago and the pine trees so right there i just love that little detail i think it's so cute and then the biggest feature of all is that you've got the windows that open here on each side so you're going to be able to have a cross breeze. That's huge. So you've got the covers here, they're shaped just like the window and they just snap into place. And you could even snap them in and then leave those two, last two unsnapped and still have the breeze coming through and block out most of the light or a little extra privacy if you'd like it. We also have this privacy curtain too. So the kiddos want to play up here and you want to, they want to have their own little play space. You can bring that curtain across. Another thing that people use this space for, say they don't have children that travel with them or that want to sleep up here, you can use this for extra storage and then you don't want to see that. So just bring the curtain across and it's gone. At the front of the cab there, we've got the two 110 outlets, the 12 volt receptacle, and the two USB charging port, ports. And then we also have a reading light here that just push button control. Okay, so let's say that the kids aren't up here playing. You want a little extra space here in the cab. To just get rid of that, you just push that forward, and then you've got more space here. So once you turn your chairs around, um, you can get in and out of those chairs easily without worrying about hitting your head. 
One of the things that I really respect about Winnebago is that they actually listen to customer suggestions. So they have a term that they call um, voice of the customer. You'll actually hear me say it. Um, it's when they've listened to the customer and made a change. So that's super important to them and, and I love that because I mean, it is, it's all about the customer, right? So we've got our captain and co-captain's chairs. They're fine. They're a little low to the ground though, if you want to be super comfortable. So they built us this booster seat and you set it on there and then you can strap it around so it's nice and secure. And they've got one for both seats. And you'll see, it just feels like you're getting into a regular seat now really comfortable now something one of my customers had asked me to do in a video speaking of listening to the customer they wanted to see how far you could recline the seat in this position so i'm just going to go ahead and take it back and so if you wanted to bring along a little you know decorative puff or poof whatever you want to call them <laughs> that you can get at tj maxx and all those fun little shops so you can lean back, get your little poof there at the bottom, and you've got another reclining chair. So it goes not quite vertical, but it goes really far back here. So look at all the seating you have in this floor plan. Um, you have your nice U-shaped dinette. You've got your sofa, you've got your captain's chairs. You can have kiddos up here, and you're directly across from your TV, and I really like that. And you also have an extra footrest in here. So just pull that up. You have one on each end. And so if you want to use your booth as more of like a shed lounge, there you go. Super comfy. So I love how roomy this booth is. Just want to sit here so you can see that you could easily, one adult here, an adult here, an adult here, another adult there. You could even have a kiddo in the corner. Maybe not reaching the table, but you can comfortably get four adults to this table. Lots of space here, and it's very comfortable. Remember that Winnebago makes all of its own furniture, so um, the, the cushion is very supportive and comfy. I'm not gonna slide off the front. I just love it. And then another thing I love are these windows back here. So we have a nice big window and we've got the screen down right now. If I don't want the screen, I can do the blackout just that easy. If I want to open the window, I'm just going to release the screen here, unlatch the window. So you just push it back and it locks, you can even push it a little bit higher. And then, so look at all that air that you're getting in here. It doesn't, it's not just like a little half window that opens, it's actually a real window that opens. And then to close it, you just push it up and it releases right back. And easily lock it back into place. And we've got our push button lights above us here. And over in this corner, we have the two USB charging ports and a 12 volt receptacle. I think I may have already mentioned that you have two seat belts in the booth, one forward facing and one rear facing, nothing on the back panel there. Now I want to show you how easy it is to make this into a sleeping area. Okay, so we're going to take the tabletop off. Before I do that, I want you to see how sturdy that tabletop is not moving. It's nice and sturdy. It's not rickety. And part of the reason is there's a little tightening tool there. So I'm going to untighten that so I can just pull that right off of the stand because that now is going to become the base for my bed. All right, so I'm just going to take the leg out, set this to the side here. Now you can see that we've got two 110 outlets down below the booth. All right, I'm gonna pull this cushion out a little bit, and now I'm just going to lift my cushion up. Couple things I wanna point out. Look at all that storage that we have down there. And also, I want you to look at the bottom of this booth uh, bench. It's just like the, you'd make regular upholstered bench. It's very high quality. And you can see that we have our seat belt. So I'm gonna leave that up. I'm gonna go over 
lift up my center cushion here. Again, a whole bunch more storage there. And lift up my third cushion. So check out all that storage. And another seat belt. I'm gonna go ahead and put my tabletop back in here as my base. And it's gonna fit nice, perfect in there. Bring our cushions back down. Go ahead and take these cushions to the side and fill in that bed. How easy was that? And if you want to lengthen it just a little bit, again, as a footrest, now you maybe could get a couple kids this direction. Anyway, just gives you some op options, but it's a nice big bed. Super easy to take this foot rest down. You just press these two levers, folds right down. All right, as I pull up this cushion, I just wanted to remind you that Winnebago makes all of its furniture, upholstery, and its stitch craft facility. And again, you can see that on my factory tour. Very interesting, but this is super important. We have a tendency, I have a tendency, when I get pillows or cushions or whatever, to pull off those tags, well don't because that is everything you need to know when you call Winnebago um, so that you can reorder this part if you know your pet actually accidentally scratches or or you know gets a little angry with you and eats a hole in this you can replace it okay again I'm going to remind you that we are in a class C look at the amount of counter space that we have in this kitchen that's as much or more that I have in a lot of my class A diesels that I do. So super impressed with that. The other thing that I love here is we've got the residential faucet. We've got our sink covers that I love the dual purpose there that we've got the cutting board on the back and we have a double bowl stainless steel sink. So double bowl and then this is the next most impressive thing. So remember these things when you're shopping your class C. Compare them against this coach. I promise you, you're going to be um, pleasantly surprised with the view. Look at how much space you have underneath your sink. So a full-size wastebasket, no problem. Little shelf here for other things, like there's so much storage in there. You can put your Instapot back there, your coffee maker, whatever. You've got plenty of space if that's where you wanna put it underneath the sink let alone the space that we have above the sink. Nice big cabinet here. Another nice big cabinet here. So you have your holding tank heater, turn off button when you're not using it. This is your Xantrax inverter. You're gonna power your 110 outlets, your TV, and your refrigerator off of that. So you wanna make sure that's on if you're trying to use your refrigerator. All right, and I kind of breeze by the TV, but we have a 32 inch TV. I love it because it's right across from your booth and from your sofa. And then the extra bonus is that it just snaps open and that's a nice firm um, uh, clip there. It's not gonna come off during travel, but you can rotate this TV out so that your kiddos up in the uh, overhead bunk can watch TV as well. Now behind the TV, there's some really cool things. This might be my favorite feature. I know it's silly, but I now don't have to have paper towels on the counter. They're right here, hidden behind the TV, always available, very easy to access, love that. Little storage compartment here, storage up here. Remember when we were outside, I talked about the black box that would give you access to the roof. So if you wanted to add a satellite, Wi-Fi booster, this is where you access that from the inside of the coach. So that's that pre-drilled hole there. You don't have to cut anything into your coach yourself. Winnebago's already taking care of it for you. And then we've got a 12 volt receptacle, two USB receptacles, one 110 outlet, and then we've got HDMI, and then all your TV hookups are all right in this cabinet. I also love that we have the big window in the kitchen. So I can just bring that down. I've got the screen. I can open the window again. Great airflow from the dinette window to the kitchen window. I love that. And then we've got lighting underneath the cabinet here. Two 110 outlets 
We've got the protective guard for our um, cabinets because we've got our induction cooktop here and gas. So you can do one or the other. So induction, you need to have a pan that a magnet will attach to and it will work on this induction cooktop. Or you can use your gas stove top. These buttons over here to the side. So we have accent lighting above the cabinets and down below the cabinets. We have our fan. And notice how nice that fan is. It's, it's nice and pretty. You don't totally, you know, first thing you walk into the kitchen, you see this big fan right there. And then we've got the light for underneath the cabinets. Okay, so here is our convection microwave oven. This is another item, um, voice of the customer. They didn't want to be taking out hot items uh, that they could spill on themselves from the microwave up here. So we have our convection microwave oven that's down below. Another favorite feature here, check out these drawers. Not only are they nice and big, but they're lit and soft close. Does it get any better? <laughs> Again, three huge drawers here, lit, and soft close. Then we have our Norcold refrigerator and freezer, and nice size freezer. Again, this is a Class C with a huge refrigerator and freezer. I love this. It just doesn't feel like I'm in a tiny space. It feels huge. Everything about it feels big. Then we've got our slide room controller. So on a Winnebago, you have to have your park brake set and your ignition on to run your slide rooms in and out. Then we've got our, um, we can start and stop our generator from here. We can turn on our water pump here and we can check our tank levels. Again, our fresh water is 30. Gray and black are both 41 and our battery level. We can get, read that out here. We have the solar charge controller here for our solar panels. And then check out this space here. So I love the way that they finished off that front, front panel. Again, it makes it feel very expensive, high end. Lots of space, pull out drawers. They kind of lock in this, into place there. Full extension. And then we have more space below here. Then we have our breaker box and our fuse panel here and everything's nicely labeled for us. Love that. And then here we can have access if we need to get to our winterization valves from this panel. All right, so remember this is the 24D floor plan with a Murphy bed. Now think back, in your lifetime, have you ever taken down a Murphy bed where you haven't had to remove cushions? It's just a pain. Okay, well erase that from your memory because this is painless, I promise you. Easiest Murphy bed I've ever done and I'm ready to buy this unit for myself. So, leg one, leg two. Okay, that was the hardest part. Now, you just go into the bathroom, push the button, power button, your bed comes down. You can leave your sheets and your bedding on your bed. You can leave your pillows on your bed. It doesn't get any easier. Isn't that the best? <laughs> and then we've got storage above and our push button night lights and a window. So love that. I mean, this is just like the best. And the great thing is I, can, I said you can leave your bed made or you can leave it unmade and put it back up. So it's just as easy to put this bed back up as it was to put it down. So push the button. There goes my unmade bed, along with my pillows. Back to my sofa, and then all you have to do, push in there. Back to my sofa. And we're not done yet. Storage underneath the sofa. 
Again, look at how that cushion is made. True furniture, it's not just a foam cushion, it's actually true furniture, nice and comfy. And then to the side, we've got two 110 outlets here, two USB, and over here we've got the same, two 110, two USB. Now, I mentioned earlier, and I forgot to show you when I had the bed out, so I can take it out again because it's that easy, um, but we do have a privacy curtain. So, if you've got folks sleeping here in the dinette and you want to have a little bit of privacy, so you just look for the one that has a little cutout, and these just clip right in. One clips in underneath here, so you have true privacy. So you're gonna have two curtains. Uh, this one is, you're still gonna have access for your guests to go to the restroom, make it to the restroom. They need to, you still have a walkway there. And then you're just gonna clip in. All right, isn't this nice? So you can have privacy in your class C. Couple more things I wanna point out before we head into the bathroom. First of all, we've got our propane alarm here, and then we've got this little hole in the ground here. So we've got an extra table. I love, love, love that Winnebago gives us a spot that is tucked away where we've got our tabletop. We just unclip it. It fits right against the wall in this compartment here. So easily comes out and the leg is right in there too. Again, they both have their own spot, so that's not gonna be a problem. So if you wanna have dinner while you watch TV or play cards, there you go. All right, so here is the control for our AC and our heat. So we have the Coleman Mach uh, 10 15,000 BTU AC with heat pump and we can control that all right here we've got our ceiling lights and then if you look up above here we've got our carbon monoxide detect detector and we've got our soft touch vinyl ceiling all right again another item that you don't typically see in your class C so you've got a pocket door that latches shut when I push that in, it's locked into place. I don't have like a snap closure or anything. Locks into place just with the, the um, lever here. I love that. And we have the cool high polish white door here. Now as you go into the bathroom, so you've got your wallpaper here. You hardly even notice, but this is the closet door. And I like that it just blends with the wall because it makes it feel bigger in here. So open that up and you've got wardrobe hanging bar here. It's a really big compartment and you also have access to the compartment from the outside. I don't know why you would really need that, but just so you know, it's there. Um, big compartment. This is also where the table stored and the leg for the table. Then we have our little Winnebago hook. I love this. There's one at the entryway. I love how they work in their brand into each coach and we've got our true mount aqua go, go system here so for our hot water you can go into eco mode or boost or off we have it off right now and then below the off you have your gas and electric so if you want to get water hot really quickly you can use both of those the very bottom is the clean button um, if you accidentally go into clean or if your kids actually put it down there, it takes a while to cycle through that clean button. I wouldn't go there unless you check for instructions in your owner's manual. Then we can turn our water pump on right here. We have our residential um, water faucet, our stainless steel sink, two 110 outlets, another big cabinet, and look, another place where we can have a full size um, garbage can, not just a little, you know, tiny one. We can actually put a decent sized garbage can in here. I totally think that is a great feature. And then I love that we have a medicine cabinet as well. So look at all that space up in the medicine cabinet. So again, for a class C bathroom, it just doesn't feel like I'm crammed and I don't have any space. I feel like I have a lot of storage in this coach. 
All right, so we've got the push pedal um, toilet. We've got the big window. I mentioned that from the outside, but again, when you're in a small space like this, this window makes it feel like it's a lot bigger and you're not in a uh, cramped space. Then we have our shower, nice big shower here. We also have another wardrobe um, hanger here if you wanted to hang you know, some clothing in here. If you've washed them, you could do that. Then we get the nice shower head. So this is a shower head that you could go and purchase yourself at like Bed Bath & Beyond, the oxygenic um, shower head. So you're gonna have more water pressure while it's still saving water and then you can turn it on and off and you're gonna be able to keep the temperature of the water that you've got it set to. So say I've got it set halfway in between, you know, nice warm water coming out of my shower. I go ahead and lather up with my soap. I can turn off the shower head and then turn it back on when I'm ready to rinse. And I like that it, you can either put, hook it up there or have a handheld little spot for soap. And we have the screen door for the shower. So it act, actually squeegees itself off as it rolls in. It's mildew and mold resistant and you only have to clean it with a light abrasive material every two to three months. So super easy to use and it just locks into place and easily opens up. And then again, they've given us another hook for a towel, which is always great. And then this is our button for our Murphy bed to bring it down and to take it back up. And then we've got our light switch, which is a high off and then low setting. So in the middle of the night when you get up and you don't want to have it totally bright, you can put it on that low setting. I always like to show the coach with the slide room in. So you've got plenty of room in this 24D floor plan. You can be in the bathroom. You can easily get through, get into your refrigerator, be here cooking, preparing stuff at the countertop, lots of space here. So no problem getting through with the slide in while you're traveling. All right, so let's go over and start everything here at the dash. Before we get to the dash, let's go over what we have on the drawer, on the door here. So we have our entry handle. We've got, we can put a drink in here. We've got room for miscellaneous items. Maybe you want to have a, you know, hardcover map. Do people carry those anymore? I like them. <laughs> Just in case you're ever out of range and you, you know, don't have a navigation system, I like to have a map. Now, this is one of my favorite things that you get on the Mercedes chassis is that you have the memory button for your seat. So once you get comfortable in your seat, all you have to do is hit the memory and the one, and you'll hear a little beep. That means it locks in that memory. So I typically have that set for, you know, your captain and then your co-captain. And then typically on number three, to make it super easy to rotate these chairs around, I'll put it to the setting where I can turn the chair and totally bypass the steering column. And so that's my third setting. So I just hit that third setting and then I can rotate the chair. When I wanna rotate the chair, the lever is right here in front of me to move and rotate the chair. We can adjust the seat back, forward and back and forward the bottom seat. We also have the heated seats unlock and lock and then up here we've got a little spot where we can put our hands so we can pull the door shut it's nice and easy and you know very easy to grab our window controls and then we have the controls for our external mirrors nice grab bar too for when we're getting in and out of the coach so right here in the top of the dash we have two drink holders a little spot for some miscellaneous items if we want to you have that for the captain and the co-captain so two drink holders here and then we're gonna have two more down here. So plenty of drink holders. You shouldn't get tired because you can put your Diet Coke, your Monster, your coffee, and your water. See, all bases covered. All right, so here's our light switch. So we can keep it on our, just our running, daytime running lights. Auto, that's where I'm gonna always keep it so they'll just automatically come on. We have the intelligent high beam here so that um, if you go ahead and it will turn on your high beams at night and then it will turn them off if you have a car coming towards you. And then you've got your headlights here. Now this is your fog lights in the front of the coach. All right, so everyone's always asking me what this second fog light is for. So it's a European thing. Actually, if you pull over at night and you want to uh, illuminate your lower um, 
brake lights and warning light or marker lights, you just hit that. Then we've got the switch here below, which is your dim and brightness for your dash control here. So I always like to keep mine at the brightest I can keep it at. All right, to the steering column. So if you want to adjust the steering column down or up or telescope, you do that right there and then figure out where you want it and lock it into place. Super easy. Then we've got our first uh, paddle control here. So this is going to be for our windshield wipers. And if you wanna just keep them in the off mode, you keep it there or you can put them to auto. That way they are rain sensing wipers. So if it starts to rain, they'll automatically come on and then you can also move them to high, medium and low. And what's really cool about this is that you have your windshield wiper fluid inside the windshield wiper. So watch this for fun. You actually use 50% windshield wiper fluid with this method. If you want to manually, manually shift, either down shift or shift up, you do it right there, super easy. And you'll be able to see on your dash which gear you are going into. So if you were towing something and you wanted to stay in a lower gear, you could just shift down right here. So this is the control center for your dash. So you can just go to your home button and you can scroll through, this is gonna be your mouse. So you can scroll through different information right here. So let's go to service. So this will let us know when uh, our def level. So we're just gonna scroll down. It's gonna let us know that we're half full um, or it's not measuring it right now because it's not on. But, and then we can go back. Um, service A is in 609 days. Give you a little service reminder. Your engine oil level, this is where it will tell you what your engine oil level is if I had the coach on. And then this is kind of cool because this is your particulate filter. So you'll have a whole bunch more dots in there as it starts to get full. And normally you don't get an indicator of this. So when once your diesel particulate filter is full, you need to make sure you run your coach so that you can clean that out. So driver assist, I'll show you more on the other screen. Trip information, so you can basically scroll through your trip information here. And then go back. You can go to your nav navigation system, your radio, media, phone. You can Bluetooth your phone to the coach so that you can answer and hang up calls right here from your steering column. And then you've got your settings where you can opt, you kind of um, customize your, your settings, how sensitive you want your windshield wiper rain sensor to be. So you can go sensitive, standard, or low sensitivity, and display. Um, do you wanna have that DEF display on your screen all the time? You could set that there. Then we have your cruise control, so you can turn that on and off here and then set your speed, decrease the speed, and you can go up in increments of five miles per hour once you're set, or you can decrease that as well. Resume, cancel, and this is your um, following distance, so you, how sensitive that sensor is gonna be on the following distance of the car in front of you, either less or more. All right, so here we have our horn. <coughs> And then we have our home button here that will display a lot of that information I just showed you on the dash. We have over on our nice monitor here. So again, I have my home button that will take me back to my original settings here. And then this is my mouse where I can scroll through those different items. So I can go back to my settings and then I can go to, for example, assistance. So I really like this. There's so many safety features built into this chassis. So we have the traffic sign assist, and that's what that little square is up here on your dash. You can see it. it's kind of a camera that will read those traffic signs. We have our active lane keeping assist. So you're gonna hear a, a sound if you start to cross over the lane without your blinker being on. Active brake assist, attention assist. So this is really cool. That's going to, um, kind of, it's gonna read how you were driving when you first started driving, how attentive you were. Say you've been driving for several hours and you start to veer out of your lane um, 
it will monitor how many times have I touched the control panel and it will give you a little warning that you need to get some coffee or you need to pull over. So that's, I think is really cool. And then there's more vehicle information so you can do your locks. And again, just customizing the different things on your coach. You can do from here. Then let me take you back to the home screen. What I really like about this is that say, uh, let's go to my navigation button. I really use that a lot, so I want that first. I can just move it and check the box. Now that will be first. Or say I want my phone to be first. You can customize this screen really easy just with touch screen controls there. Then this is your Bluetooth, so you can answer and hang up your phone calls here. You can adjust the volume here. So this is your voice assist, so you can, when you're Bluetooth, you can operate your phone from here, and then you can also say, hey Mercedes, and get that help from here once you've bought the coach and registered it, and it will start to recognize your voice. So here's our transmission gears, our reverse, neutral drive, and park. You just push it in for park, hit it up for reverse, hit it down for drive, and then you can get into neutral park. Then just below, then we've got our ignition button here. So if we just hit it one time, we'll go into accessory mode. Once we put the brake on and hit the button, we'll start it. And then to stop it, we can just either hold the button or we can brake and hold and it will turn it right off. Now right below that, we've got the button that's gonna alert us that we have our jacks or our stabilizers are down. And this will adjust the volume. That Beep is really loud, so if you want to soften it, you can kind of close that and make it not quite so loud. All right, so right in the center of the dash, we have a little secret compartment. Love those. And we have a 12 volt receptacle, and then we have a USB C port here, so you can plug in your phone for like Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So you can go to your Google Maps and it will pull up right on your on your screen there, which is nice. Now, also, you've got two more USB-C ports so that if your co-pilot wants to plug in their phone and play music off it, you can do that as well right there. So we've kind of covered this screen, but it's just touch screen here. We can make a phone call. We can go to our navigation, our radio, media, info, and our settings. And again, easily change those if you wanna change that configuration. Easy to do. So I, these are our quick access buttons. If I wanna see my camera, I can go to that and I can also change angles. But I either have to be going seven miles per hour or less or have my engine on. All right, we can make a telephone call from here, go to our maps quickly, or go to our radio and media. We've got our volume control here. This will take us to our quick access buttons, and then this way we can scan through our radio preset channels. We also have little cubbies here, great spot to just set your phone if you need to. And then down below here, we have the controls for our air conditioning and heat. So we can set the temperature for hot or cold, auto, AC, direct that, um, the flow. We've got the, our hazard buttons here, our defrost, recirculate the air, and our fan control here for high or low. And then again, we've got our four cup holders. Right below here, we have another USB-C port and a 12 volt receptacle. And then just below that, occasionally you'll get a message in your dash that you need to insert the key. Well, there is no key, but you can take it down there, insert it, and it kind of resets it. Or we found a little trick out. You can just hit the unlock and lock button. That will reset it too. So you may never even have to put your keys down there in that little slot. But just so you know, that's what you can do there. Co-captain's chair is the same as the captain's chair. You've got your lumbar control. You've got fuses here. So you have automotive and coach circuit breakers here. 
So if you open these buttons here, you've got some tools for the coach there and you've got jacks right there. I went ahead and put up my driver and passenger um, blackout shades. They just accordion out and they've got little magnets on the end so they help uh, magnet to the door. And then the front ones, you just fill up the windshield and then bring your sun visor down to hold them into place. So quick and easy. All right, so I'm getting ready to take the view out for a test drive. I'm super excited to drive this just because it's on this Mercedes um, Sprinter chassis and I think it's gonna drive great. And now we're gonna test out all the safety features or I can point some of those out as we go. It's really no big deal to drive a Class C. Um, this doesn't feel much bigger than my Toyota Sequoia. So in fact, it will probably drive a little nicer. You've got your mirrors, which are going to be your saving grace as you're going down the road. They're really nice and you can see everything that's in your path. All right, so let's hit the road. Okay, so if I start to veer out of my lane without my blinker on, I have an alarm that comes up on my dash and I can feel the active braking that's kind of slowing me down. So I love that safety feature. Now that I've got my cruise control on, and set, I can just sit back and enjoy this beautiful countryside. And I'm telling you, it is like driving a Mercedes. It's so quiet, it's so smooth. Um, I love, I love, love, love the view. <laughs> can you tell? I really, really like it. Okay. All right, so if you've ever watched my videos, you know that I always like to take a decibel reader to see how quiet it is inside this coach. We're at 66.9, so I think that even seems a little loud because literally this is so quiet. Um, I don't hear anything rattling, nothing squeaking. It's as quiet as my car. So you're gonna love driving this Mercedes. I mean, really it is like driving a luxury car with a luxury house on the back um, with Winnebago's innovation of making these motorhomes for 62 years. So one of the things I really like about the Mercedes chassis is that you've got so many safety features. We have the adaptive cruise control. We have traffic sign assist, so it's gonna read the traffic signs and help me there. Active lane assist, active braking, and attention assist. So if I start to you know, veer out of my lanes, it's gonna give me a warning that I need to you know, pull over, rest, get a cup of coffee. Um, Anyway, I just love that it's actively monitoring me as a driver, too. All right, so you know I'm sold on the view. Now, all you need to do is pick up your phone, give me a call, 469-277-1120, or email me at angie at nirvc.com. We'd love to have you come and visit one of our locations and take one of these views out for a test drive. Call me for a personal testimonial. I'll give it to you. I absolutely love this. Um, please come see us at National Indoor RV Centers. If this is another coach for you, I bet I can find you the one that will work for you. I hope you've enjoyed the, my tour of the Winnebago View 24D. It's a Class C in its own class. I absolutely love this coach. Now, I'm sure you're wondering what it would cost you to get into this coach. Well, MSRP is $180,995. Give me a call, 469-277-1120, or you can email me at angie at nirvc.com, or go to our website, nirvc.com, and you can see all the coaches that we have available to sell. Now, at National Indoor RV Centers, we make doing business with us super easy. We take in trades, we do financing, we offer extended warranty plans. I promise you it will be a pleasant experience if you give us a try. And remember, at National Indoor RV Centers, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less. Now, if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more just like it, please hit the like and subscribe. Also, check out my RV in 101 video series and please check out my Winnebago factory tour. Also, you gotta check out our AIM Club, all-inclusive motorhome club. We have the most fabulous rallies. I attend all of them. I'd love to meet you in person, so please check out aimclub.org.